Ukraine launched a precision strike deep inside Russian territory, just hours after President Joe Biden lifted restrictions on the use of American munitions. The Ukrainian army utilized HIMARS to target Belgorod, a key base for Russian attacks in northern Ukraine. Recall, for more than two years, the Biden administration had imposed limits on the use of American-supplied weaponry, allowing Ukraine to deploy them only against Russian targets on Ukrainian soil. However, recent devastating Russian strikes on Kharkiv prompted a reassessment. The indiscriminate bombings, including an attack on a home improvement store that claimed 18 lives, led to a decision to erase the restriction. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky hailed the move, stating it would enhance Ukraine's ability to defend against Russian aggression. As the rockets rained down on Belgorod, Russian media captured scenes of air raid sirens and fiery launches of air defense batteries as the Ukrainian rockets thundered toward the city of 384,000. Belgorod and its surroundings serve as a base for Russian forces launching attacks on Ukrainian border towns, particularly towards Kharkiv. The strike on Belgorod marks a significant move in Ukraine's ability to target Russian military assets deep inside Russia, Forbes assesses. Previously, Ukraine had only used locally made or European munitions for such strikes. However, the availability of American-made precision weapons like HIMARS and ATACMS now offers Ukraine a more potent capability. Houthis attacked U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and destroyer ship. The Yemeni Houthis movement has dealt another blow to the American nuclear-powered aircraft carrier USS Dwight Eisenhower, currently located in the Red Sea. This was stated by the representative of the Houthi armed forces, Yahya Saria. According to the report, the Houthis launched rockets and drones on the aircraft carrier USS Dwight D. Eisenhower and the American destroyer USS Gravely was also attacked. In total, the movement carried out six operations against ships and vessels of the American coalition and Israel in response to new coalition attacks in Yemen. It is noted that this is the second attack on an aircraft carrier. The first was carried out on Thursday or Friday last week. The second became known only today. At the same time, the Pentagon denies an attack on the aircraft carrier as well as any damage to the ship. One senior military official said he was unaware of a possible attack on the USS Dwight Eisenhower. At the same time, the U.S. Central Command confirms the interception of two ballistic missiles fired by the Houthis, not at an aircraft carrier, but at the destroyer U.S. Gravely. Both missiles were shot down and no hits were made. Houthi drones have also been shot down, but there are no details. Earlier, the Pentagon also denied the first strike on the aircraft carrier USS Dwight Eisenhower, which was announced by the Houthis. At the same time, the Yemeni movement claimed some damage to the ship. At the same time, neither side presented any evidence. The other four attacks by Houthis targeted three ships, Mena in the Red Sea, the al oraik in the Indian Ocean, and the Abliani in the Red Sea, alleging that they had breached a ban on visiting Israeli ports. The US reacted to the Houthi assaults by labeling them as a terrorist organization, organizing a marine alliance to protect the seas and launching airstrikes on Houthi sites in Yemen. Despite U.S. assertions that its strikes have weakened the Houthis, analysts say the increasing number of Houthi attacks on ships demonstrate that the strikes are ineffectual and that the Houthis continue to feel that their attacks have increased their popularity.